everybody came down to Newport. Newport was the spot back in the 60s. I first uh, found myself uh, gathering with the, the local surf tribe down there at 22nd Street Pier. I would say every surfer from the 60s kind of influenced my outlook on surfing. And I hope we will always be living it forever. Stretched along the Pacific Ocean, 50 miles south of Hollywood, 100 miles north of the United States-Mexico border, is Newport Beach, California. This resort city in Orange County consists of many coastal communities, including the Balboa Peninsula. On the west side of the peninsula stands the historic Newport Pier, originally called McFadden's Wharf. At the base of this pier is the 22nd Street District. This is where our story begins. The surfers at school were basically seen as a, a bad crowd. And, uh, and, the, and as everyone knows, it follows all this stuff. The surfers up and down the coast were seen, it's troublemakers. It's kind of like beatniks on the waves or these guys, you know, they're shiftless. But they just live to surf. They're out there. You know, why aren't they productive? Why aren't they getting with the team? And uh, that, that appealed to me because, again, as an artist, I felt completely alien. I didn't fit in with any normal kind of thing and never have and nor do I want to. In 1950, 55, 56, we, just, we were just like kids who just lived at the beach. And we got the surfboard thing going, but it wasn't like surfing was a big craze. There were very few people that surfed, even in California. We had a shack right there where we kept all our boards and we hung out, to, like Fridays, we'd go down there and spend the night so we could get early surf in the morning. That's when we didn't have any cars, you know, so we slept down at the beach. We'd have our mom and dads or whatever bring us down and spend the night down at the shack. We were a little, little rat pack and, and we hung together and we, we did everything together. We collected bottles together and, well, we hung together for, for two reasons. One, we hung together for protection and we hung together because we were just felt good hanging out, being free. Like you jump out of your car, grab your board, and run to the ocean, you know, because you never know where the Marines were. I mean, the Marines could be in the bushes, you know, hiding and catch you. Port at 22nd Street, the first time we saw Lima Kalama, we couldn't believe it because he had that Hawaiian style. He had a grace about him. The greatest decade for surfing for us was probably the 60s. Uh, it was still those innocent years. We were young, we were carefree. We didn't have any place we had to be. When the surf was good, we were on it. Uh, we had a lot of great friends, uh, a lot of great parties at that time. It was pretty carefree. Mm -hmm. 